in American society after World War II. The consumeration and uh, consumption and the suburbia and all that. And a lot of people wanted to find some other alternative. They wanted to do something else. They wanted to be something else, not just, you know, live in little houses. So a lot of beasts, a lot of beasts and beats, that's kind of what the idea behind it is. Of course, uh, Jack Kerouac, he was the first guy who did that. He uh, really started getting famous in the late 50s, about 1957. His first book was on the road. In fact, he'd been rejected uh, for most of his novels for about 10 years. Until finally, he got published. Then he got went on to other things. In fact, let me read something by him. Woo! Then we'll have then we'll have someone else come up, maybe. So, Jack Kerouac. In fact, I'll read some other things too that are a bit more obscure. But this comes from the the Mexico City Blues. This is sort of his uh, masterpiece of poetry. Oh, yeah. Reading through this, I was deciding to read Chorus 29. The way that Kerouac described the Mexico City Blues is that on a Sunday afternoon, a jazz poet just came out and just started to read and improvise choruses. There's 242 of them. Like I said, very interesting reading. Try it sometime. This is number 29. Man, now you won't let me talk. Gripes the irreligious, Ill, irreligious feline cat. That cat has no trumpet, but bubblegum to blow on. Poor sad Biku of the forest, of poor lost little Nino. In Calles of Forever, streets of old Burma, be saved, secret wretched, urchin brother hero. You are protected by the guardians of the alone. All is alone. You don't have to talk. One light, one transcendental ex ecstasy. And if they don't understand that, in the South, it's because the Bap all their Baptists have not been to school. All right, so, beat poetry.